All right, you guys, today we'll check out how to make this kinetic perspective text here in After Effects inspired from Jake. Go check out his page. He got some awesome tutorials. Create a new composition, rename it text animation. I'm going to go with 1080 by 1080, 25 frames, 3 seconds, black background, click OK. Select the type tool, type in something. I'm going to align it to the center, press the letter S, scale it up, align it to the center again. For the font, I went with the obviously condensed black. Now let's go and select the pan behind tool and I'm going to search for the anchor point which is located right here. Press and hold control and drag it on the right and make sure to snap it to this little square here. Now let's go to the scale options, activate the stopwatch at the scale. We're going to bring it to the first second. Let's unlink it and bring this down to zero. And I'm going to bring it back. Let's go and close up the layer, open it up and we're going to go to the animate and select all transform properties. First, let's go to the scale right here, unlink it, bring this down to zero. Let's go and open up the range selector one. Let's go to the offset, activate the stopwatch. We're going to type in here minus 100 and bring it to the first second and now type in 100. Let's scroll down. Let's go to the advanced, open it up and let's go to the shape, change the square to smooth. Press the letter U to highlight only the keyframes, select all the keyframes. Right click on the keyframes and go to keyframe assist and select easy ease. Press Ctrl D on the layer to duplicate and I'm going to select all the keyframes at the bottom layer again and I'm going to right click keyframe assist and select time reverse keyframes. And I'm going to go and select the pen behind and I'm going to select the text and let's see what we got. Now I'm going to go and select one of the text, doesn't matter which one and I'm going to go and select the pen behind and bring this anchor point from the right Press and hold control and snap it on the left side this time. So if you hit play, it is going to move like this. I'm going to bring it to the second second. So it's going to loop itself. Let's go back to the project, right click new comp, type in text comp. And from here, let's go and bring the text animation into the text comp. Let's go to the text animation comp, bring it into the text comp. And we're going to go and activate the proportional grid. So we're going to need to squeeze the text in between these two lines. So all you need to do is just drag it and squeeze, leave a little bit of space in between. And I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate. I'm going to drag this text on the top. It doesn't need to be perfect. I'm going to press Ctrl D again to duplicate. I'm going to bring this layer on the bottom and I'm going to select this text layer and just bring it down. I'm going to select all three text layers and let's go to the align and we're going to align it, distribute. I'm also going to select the second layer and delay it with two frames. I'm going to select the first layer and delay it with four frames. So if I hit play, it is going to animate like this. Let's go to the project, right click new comp, type in text perspective, click OK, drag and drop the text comp into the text perspective. I'm also going to go and change this to tile action safe. Now we're going to go to the effects and presets, type in CC power pin, double click on it. And here we got a couple of settings that you can manipulate and put the text in perspective as much as possible. And the main point is bring it all down and this edge here to move right into the center. So you're going to need to manipulate it quite a bit. Now this looks really bad because these are not the correct numbers. But if you have the same composition settings that I do, you can go with 375, 707, 709 and the last one 711. So as you can see, the triangle edge is going to be here and everything is nicely in perspective. Let's go back to the project, right click new comp, type in text perspective comp, enter, drag and drop the text perspective into the text perspective comp. I'm going to rename it south, press control D to duplicate, press the letter R for rotate and I'm going to rotate at 90 degree angles. And before you rotate, make sure that the anchor point is perfectly into the center. Now I'm going to rename this as west. Press Ctrl D to duplicate, press the letter R. We're going to go to the 90. I'm going to add plus 90 and I'm going to rename it as North. Let's duplicate it one more time. Press Ctrl D, press the letter R, 180 plus 90. And I'm going to rename it as East. Bring the work area to the second second. Right click, trim comp to work area, hit play. And there you go. Thanks for watching.